Welcome to the future of advanced file protection with Kalina Polymorphic Cryptor. This revolutionary tool offers dynamic encryption techniques to safeguard your files, making reverse engineering and detection virtually impossible. Whether you're securing sensitive data or protecting your applications, Kalina ensures unparalleled security in an ever-evolving threat landscape. We've added Quasar RAT to the Windows Defender exclusion list. This step is necessary because Windows Defender may automatically remove the Quasar RAT file. Now, let's open Quasar RAT to start managing remote systems. After launching the RAT, we'll begin by setting up the listener, allowing us to monitor and control incoming connections. After that, let's move on to building the payload from Quasar RAT. We'll configure the settings, such as the host and port, to match the listener we set up. Once the configuration is complete, we'll build the payload, which will be used to establish the remote connection. After building the payload, we'll copy it to the donut folder. Once it's in place, rename the payload to payload.exe to maintain consistency. Next, we'll execute the run.bat file, which will generate a new file called loader.bin. This loader is crucial for our operations, but for better organization and security, it's necessary to change the name of this file to something more discreet. With the loader.bin file ready, let's upload it to a direct URL for easy access. While the upload is processing, we'll open Kalina Polymorphic Cryptor. First, we'll enter our license key and press login to unlock the full features of the cryptor. After logging in, we'll return to the browser, copy the direct URL where we uploaded the bin file, and paste it into Kalina Cryptor. Finally, we'll press build to create the fully encrypted and protected payload. To ensure long-term security and maintain the FUD, fully undetectable, status of our stub, it's recommended to use a protector. In this case, we'll be using .NET Reactor. This tool enhances protection by adding extra layers of security, helping the stub bypass all antivirus programs and Windows Defender. Let's open .NET Reactor, load the crypt file we just built, and press protect. This final step will safeguard the payload even further ensuring it remains undetectable for an extended period. Now, let's test the final file. We'll first move it to the desktop, outside of the Windows Defender Exclusion folder, to simulate a real-world environment. Once it's in place, we'll run the file. The file is designed to sleep for 60 seconds initially, which helps evade certain runtime detection techniques used by Windows Defender. This delay ensures the payload executes stealthily, bypassing any active monitoring and security checks.
the file executed successfully, effortlessly bypassing Windows Defender. Our advanced encryption and protection methods worked perfectly, ensuring the payload remains undetectable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on cybersecurity tools and techniques.